Hi, this is Madhusudan Rao. Welcome to our technical series related to Oracle Database 23 AI. This video will show you how to create Oracle Autonomous Database 23 AI. It is assumed that you can log in to cloud.oracle.com and have administrative access to create an autonomous database instance. From your web browser, log in to cloud.oracle.com. You can use the existing tenancy that is shown there or you can change the tenancy. Provide your username and password. You can skip the tour. For us to create autonomous database instance in this chapter, we would need a quota available, that is resource quota. Under services, you can see the one for compute. What is available, that is in service limit. Change it to database. And you can see always free autonomous database instance count with a service limit of 2 and 2 is available. So now we are good to go from here in creating an ADB instance. From the top left navigation select Oracle database and under that autonomous data warehouse. Here you can see various options. Select a compartment or you can create it under a root compartment. In this case I am selecting a compartment. Click on create autonomous database. Provide the display name and database name. Remember the database name should be unique in a given tenancy, assuming that you have multiple database instances. You can select the workload type. We'll go with default, that is data warehouse of type serverless. Here you can see various options that we have. If at all we switch off the always free, it needs to be upgraded to a paid account. Let us go with the always free on and select 23 AI. If the database is not active for seven consecutive days, it will be stopped. And once it is stopped, you can always restart it. The data will always be preserved. However, if the database is stopped for three months, it will be reclaimed. So choose database version 23 AI for this particular chapter. Also, currently, you cannot convert the free ADB instance into paid instance. Okay, let us start giving admin password. Please follow the Oracle standards of password here. That is, it should be a combination of special characters, all for numerical keys. Choose network access is important. Let us select secure access from anywhere. We will revisit secure access from allowed IP and VCNs only later on. Required mutual TLS is Checked by default. And the licensing type is license included that is set as a default. And the other option that is BYOL is disabled. Click on create autonomous database. So it will take a couple of seconds to change from provisioning state to available state. You can go through various uh, highlighted text there where it takes some time for that to get provisioned. Now it is available. Under database actions, select view all database action. We will see the launchpad screen with various tabs available there. You can go through that. Click on the top left navigation to see all the various options available here. In fact, we'll ex be exploring this a bit later. Uh, like you can see Graph Studio, Data Studio, certain developer related activities, uh, actions, administration and so on. The most important thing that we want to do is create a user at this stage. So under user management, click on create user. 
let me create a user by name doc user you can choose your own username provide the password and what we want to enable is oracle machine learning graph and web access in fact you can disable some of them if you really don't want them and space we want to provide unlimited table space for the data with this click on create user if the password is not following the standards please change that from here you can edit the user by clicking on the edit button and change the required options thanks for watching see you soon in the next video of this series till then goodbye